Look, what if you could spend five minutes to get an hour back of your time? Look, in today's video, I want to talk about this very quick tip that helped save me hours and hours over the weeks and months. What that is, it's very simple. You will have heard it before. It's about planning your next day. Now, the reason that I do this is because it takes out so much confusion or wondering or like slowing down in terms of focus and my work just because I'm trying to decide what to do next. Now, if you already plan out what you're going to do, then it completely takes away your decision making. Now, that is another benefit because we all know about decision fatigue, which is where your brain starts to become foggy, mentally drained because you're making too many decisions. What you want to do is eliminate a lot of decisions or as many as you possibly can to make your life easier and keep your brain optimized. Look, what I used to do, and I developed this when I was in Turkey, I would write down my day meticulously to the minute. Now, I know this works for some people, but for me, it worked for a little bit, but then it didn't. I found myself too constrained. I built this online business to have freedom to do what I wanted. So a lot of people who work well with certain hours, with certain tasks, I just work well in certain tasks, put either in the morning or the evening. I know that in the morning, I'm a lot more focused. I can get purposeful work done. And in the afternoon, I'm a lot more creative as well as I can a bit more laid back. So that's probably best for admin tasks. So on an evening, I always write out my next day tasks and then prioritize them. Which of these tasks are really urgent and need doing ASAP? Which of these tasks need a more creative mindset to them, like creating videos or creating course content or doing client work? These will be better for the afternoon. Now, especially admin tasks, sometimes either outsource them or just leave them off to the evening. Look, it only takes you five minutes to write down the tasks that you need to do and then prioritize them. And trust me when I say this, that the next day, you will thank yourself by having that day laid out for you. You don't have to spend that 10, 15 minutes figuring out what you want to do and another 10, 15 minutes later on when you're changing your mind. And then it might say another 20 minutes later because you're not really focused. You might be doing multiple tasks at once. When you have it all laid out for you, then there's no confusion. There's no lack of focus. You just get stuff done. But this has been a great productivity. It's either a productivity hack or a mind time management hack. I don't know what it is. It just works. It saves time and I hope it does the same for you. Start doing this. If you're not already, then test it out. And if you are doing it, but it's not really working, let's say you're already doing it hour by hour, half in 15 minute increments, which is what I used to do. Then just try, mix it up, go to the other end of the spectrum. Just do, right, I'm going to do these two tasks in the morning and I've got these three in the afternoon. Just do it like that. But the more efficient we become, the more work we can take on, or if you're like me, the more freedom we have in our lives to enjoy stuff like going out, I can't see, like going out there, can you see the pool? I'll quickly show you the pool before we end. The sun's actually just gone in. Nice little infinite pool. So yeah, take this on board and I will see you soon.